I want to share with you a real quick tip that helps you with the validation phase. So we've talked about the ideation and how we can use some of these advanced SEO tools. And now this is just a, a quick trick, but it, it's very helpful when validating. So let's say I'm ordering content and I'm starting to get some real scale in my business. Well, if what we do is we say, boy, I've got to now go through all of these terms that I want to write for and I need to determine what the big sites are and what the small term, small ones are. Well, unless you've done a lot of search analysis or you just know the industry really well, it's hard to identify what's a big site and what's a small site. And so what I would do is we're going to come into Keywords Explorer and we're going to type in just a list of, of search phrases common, you know, homeschool, homeschool activities, homeschool crafts, I, you know, laws, lesson templates, whatever. Just think of some things that would apply to your niche, right? We're going to hit search. And then we're going to come over here to buy domains. And bang, right here we can see what all the big players are in these homeschool topics. This is just, a, I think, a really helpful look at, at who's winning in, um, in these searches. It, I, I think it's cool because now I, I can see you know, something like thehomeschoolmom.com and I might just say, oh, random blogger. And this is telling me, oh, maybe this is actually stiff competition for some of these things. So just kind of come through here. Just generally look through, I mean, you're going to see Dictionary and Pinterest and Wikipedia too because of course they're going to rank. But what are some of these blogs that are uh, Portland Homeschooling Resources, Homeschooling-Ideas, Teachers Pay Teachers, um, sites that you may not otherwise recognize that are actually big players.